Assalamu alaikum dear students. My last topic was about the adjectives and today I am going to repeat the same but not the definition of adjective but I am going to tell you about the types of adjectives. Generally there are six types and if we will move a little bit forward there are ten types of adjectives but this is your eighth standard and we must not go so deep that uh, which will confuse you students. So I am going to tell you last day I have told you one type of is quality adjective. Quality adjective. Adjective. Quality adjective. Or adjective of quality. Adjective of quality. I have already told you this quality adjective in the last lecture. The second type of this is quantity adjective, adjective of quantity. Adjective of quantity. So adjective, you know that, and I have told you, explained it to you in the last lecture, that adjective is the describing word. It provides us information about the noun or pronoun. But we have here quality adjective, intelligent boy, white shirt, good story, like that. These are quality adjectives. But today I am going to tell you about the quantity adjective. Quantity means like that we say much. much full half large etc many full half large big like that the adjectives are quantity so here these words qualify, modify the noun. These words much, full, half, large, many, more, etc. These words modify the noun or pronoun. For example, I have drunk much milk. Much milk. So milk is noun and it is modified with this word much. So much and milk. This is quantity adjective. Quantity adjective. Much. You should take. You should take half of a coffee. You should take here for your for the correction. I will write this thing. You should take half 
coffee. So this half and coffee. Coffee is noun. And this is the adjective. Half coffee. This is the quantity adjective. So these words where we use much, full, large, big, etc. And when these words modify or these words provide information about this uh, noun or pronoun. So this is called adjective of quantity. So now there is another type. The another type of is number adjective. The adjective of numbers. Number adjective. But you must not feel anything confusion here. Quantity and number, these are two different things. Quantity is that thing where we cannot count, and number is that thing where we can count. For example, You have eaten three bananas. So banana is noun. It is qualified, it is modified by this three number. So this is noun. When noun is modified by the adjective and that to the number adjective this is called the number adjective noun and adjective why is this called number adjective because we have in front of noun we have a number there three i can i can read A few books. I can read a few books. A few shows the number. Books is noun. So this is the number adjective. Three, two, like that. So there is a difference between quantity adjective and the number adjective. Quantity is the thing where we cannot count. I have drunk much milk. I cannot say I have drunk three milks. And like this. You have eaten three bananas. You cannot say you have eaten much bananas. So because there is number and there is quantity. So there is a difference between number and quantity. So this is called the number adjective. Now. One more type. Is demonstrative. And very important type. Demonus, demonstrative adjective demonstrative adjective and here we must feel some difference one is different demonstrative adjective and another is demonstrative pronoun there's a difference between demonstrative adjective and demonstrative pronoun and that will I will explain it to you later on first of all what does demonstrative adjective mean demonstrative adjective it explains explains the near or far it explains the near or far by using demonstratives this these that those so these are demonstrative adjectives this is singular 
and this is a plural this this is plural that is singular and those are plural so these are near these two are far so this demonstrate to adjective to explains the near and far by using this these that and those like this this and these for near and that and those for far the object which is nearer to you where there we are, we use this and these it is in singular and this is in it is in plural and the objects which are far which are not which are away from we people so that there we use for singular that and for plural those so these are demonstrative adjectives these are demonstrative adjectives this book is black if i will tell you this book is black it is the book which is near and that book is red it is the book which is away from we people so these boys are intelligent so these are the boys in in plural the boys which are nearer to we and those those boys are not intelligent and those are the boys which are away are far from we people so those is for plural and that is for singular this is for near and this is for these is as plural for near so dear students today i have told you about quality uh, quality is was uh, in my last lecture quality adjective now today i have told you about the quantity adjective a number adjective and demonstrative adjective and inshallah next lecture i will tell you about what is the difference between demonstrative adjective and demonstrative pronoun so here you must say uh, understand that it explains the near and far demonstrative adjective by using the words in the demonstrative adjective we use this these that those and these two are for near and those two are for far and that is all for today